I guess. <laughs> well, there no, there's an onion leak. leak. Yeah, exactly. I, I chopped onions is. five hours ago. And still <laughs> I with blame this. the onions. Yes, you should. I, I know, I've, I've only played the original Mega Man games. I've never played the X. So that's the thing. Uh, I hate the original Mega Man games. I actually don't like them at all. That's what's weird. That's the, I think that's one of the reasons I liked Mighty Number no. Nine is because like everyone was like, Ugh. and I was like, better than the original Mega Man games. I fucking didn't like them at all. Um, like they're good games, but I'm like, I don't like this fucking Saturday morning cartoon bullshit. Was the thing um, because even back then I didn't give a shit about the game. Probably more so back then I didn't give a shit about the gameplay. You know, like that. I like I, I. I talk about it a little bit with Sonic, um, but like, I'm not here because the game is fun to play. Yeah. I'm here for I something mean, else. And if the game is good, that's a bonus. You know what's what's fun to play is fucking Tetris. Yeah, <laughs> you can just play Tetris if you want something fun to play. And like, even then, I I could go for story mode in Tetris. I don't yeah, know. sure. What How come no one's done that? Try it. Um, I'm sure someone has. What's what's that? Breakout clone that has a story mode. I don't know, but I do know that I made uh, a breakout game in Game Studio Game Maker, the thing One that Toby Fox made Undertale. In. Yeah, I made RPG Maker. Yeah, in a <laughs> Game Maker, I think, and it, I I put in a story mode. It really was really bad. But like, I don't. It's it's like Sonic Team Racing. Why not just put a little yeah, fuck cheap it. story mode yeah, just in with this game? Show. Yeah, like Drawings. it doesn't have to be special. Yeah, I mean the point is it's a racing game. Why not throw that in? Just you know, you could be cheap with it. Look at how fucking hype this is. <laughs> fuck you. Yeah, six strats, bro. <laughs> fucking. So, like, I, because I played the original Mega Man's and I was like, I don't like it. Like, I don't, like, I think I played, I had a Super Nintendo, I didn't have an NES. I was NES. gonna say, you didn't have So, it. I played, we I, had an NES mode. Yeah, watch this. Yeah! Oh, yeah! Much. Break that shit like a Super Nintendo <laughs> game! Drop and frame. Oh, I love it. Drop and Look frame. at that background. Look at That's how nice amazing. that looks. Um,. Yeah, my grandmother had an SNES. We did not. Yeah. My grandmother got an SNES, a Wii, and an iPad before I did. That's my <laughs> life right there. <laughs> so I had a Super Nintendo, so I played Mega Man 7. Uh, that was, like, the classic <laughs> Mega Man game that I played. Um, I probably would have liked Mega Man 1 through 6 even less, <laughs> I imagine. So I played... Whoop! I played Mega Man 7, and I was like, this is fucking lame. This is like some oh, weird Saturday morning cartoon shit. I don't get it. <laughs> and like in retrospect, I can look back and see like I the reason I like Mega Man X is because of it explores some fucked up shit. <laughs> it like really like it's a it's a low 2D Mega Man game. In terms of raw gameplay, it's just, you know, doing the Mega Man thing. But it, like, gets into, like, the morality of robots, of, like, self-aware sapient robots and shit. The original Mega Man does not. And that's fine. Like, I respect Me the original timeline, the original series of Mega Man. Where Ganon wins? <laughs> yes. <laughs> the, 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 the hero f loses timeline. <laughs> but Bam dies of his injuries. <laughs> <laughs> Tony wins, but Bam dies of his injuries. <laughs> The greatest timeline in video games. <laughs> I always forget who the fuck is weak to uh, yeah, Armored Armadillo. I think it's Octopus, which doesn't make any fucking sense Octopussy? to me. I think it's Octopus, man. Played by Revolver Ocelot. After Armored Armadillo, I always forget what the rest of the order is. I think it's I think it's Octopado. Yeah, I think it's Octopado. Uh, yeah. And Armadillo is just in uh, the Possum Armor Division. I mean, it doesn't matter, but I'm gonna go ahead and look it up. <laughs> uh, I res I like that in the original time in the original series of Mega Man, they don't have self aware robots. Robots are just toasters. Like, they can't think, they can't alter their programming, they are not self-aware artificial intelligence. Um, Rock, the original Mega Man, could not pass the Turing test. Uh, it took 
Dr. Light until X, Mega Man X, before... Right, the dog, Roll is the chick, we're all robots here. <laughs> what order should I beat Mega Man? <laughs> this, none of this is helpful. Listen to that, what SPC is... guitar sound. <clears throat> it took uh, Dr. Light until he made Mega Man X until he created a self-aware, sapient, artificial intelligence. Artificial, artificial intelligence. Yeah, it is Mark. It is Launch Octopus. Okay. Launch Octopus. Fucking, what the fuck is a Kuwanger? <laughs> Uh, the reason that Mega Man X is significant is because <clears throat> Dark Light was like, I'm gonna make oh, a robot that can just do whatever the fuck it wants. It's not restricted by its programming, and it doesn't have to follow humans' orders if it doesn't feel like it. That shit could turn evil. <laughs> uh, if you make a robot that's not restricted by the three laws of robotics, which is, like, the big thing everyone jerks off over. Yeah, it's a lot. Uh, which is like, uh, someone made a really good argument that I remember that's like, if we actually made, oh shit, self-aware artificial dark. intelligent robots, restricting their programming with three laws of robotics like that would be like a, would constitute a fucking war crime. Because it's like, imagine doing that to a human being. Imagine putting a fucking chip in someone's brain that made it impossible for them to kill someone if they, like, they had no choice. I mean, the real question here is, is Data, you know, as a member of the Starship Enterprise, is he a human? Can he, can he like, uh, choose here's my not favorite, to participate? Here's, here's my favorite enemies. Oh, I wonder why. Oh. It's a good time. I wonder why. We have fun here. <laughs> but you see, like, can he, yeah, he have the, to consent to the... That's the thing, is, it's, you know, you want to talk, you know, robot rights. You, you point. You can easily point to data. Yeah. Um, Me measure of a man. The measure of a man. Yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Oh That lawyer on YouTube who makes the lawyer reacts videos. He did a video on the episode. Oh. oh. I blame the port. <laughs> Of course you do. Um, the thing That's is, that video one. doesn't have very good l legalism. It's like a, f it's like a philosophy argument. It's not yeah, even I a mean, very good philosophy argument, to be honest. Yeah. But, but the I idea mean, of is it no is an adaptation make. of an Isaac Asimov story, where he, where a robot was put on trial for whether or not he had the freedom to be considered an actual, like, self-deterministic individual. With all the rights that are entailed, yeah, there's some rights occurring there too. Uh, which and the the verdict was Brilliant. no being uh, that should be uh, God damn it, I forget what the wording <laughs> is. It was like uh, there is no reason to restrict freedom to a being that is aware of the concept and can desire the state. So if something knows what freedom is and wants it, they should be allowed to have it, basically. Um, but, you know, most people learn that shit. You, uh, back in the day, you had to read the Isaac Asimov. Uh, most people probably learn that shit from Star Trek. Apparently a lot of people learn that shit from Nier Automata. <laughs> Apparently, oh, yeah. some people's very first exposure to the idea of, hey, can robots be people, yeah, bizarrely enough. was near Automata, and they have never consumed any other media that explored that question there before, good... and think it's, like, super insightful. Yeah. There was a good 20-year period where that's all anyone did. Yeah, but, you know. like, fucking iRobot, yep. uh, the Million Dollar, uh, Bicentennial Man. Yeah. Like, okay. it's been explored, Asimov, people! It's yeah. not fucking rocket science! After Asimov, it's like, yeah, it's kind of been done. Like, literally pointing to any robot fiction and being like, the reason yeah, this is good exactly. is All because... Exactly, sci-fi made after Asimov references that in some way. It's Some like, of them have robots. is that is that the reason that it's good? Is that the reason that Nier Automata is good, <laughs> yeah. or are you fucking stupid? Are you dumb? Uh, that's the thing, like, Mega Man does not explore, hey, can robots be people? He takes that as a given. Like, the foundation point is, Dr. Light created a robot yeah. that has self-awareness and 
it is a self-aware, self-deterministic, artificial human being. Like, what is the difference yeah. between a ro between you know a mechanical person and us? They're electro uh, mechanical. We are biochemical. You know, like it, it doesn't the, ask you know, like, can robots be self-determined? It says, hey, robots are people. What now? Yeah, exactly. That's the thing. It says, what now? Yeah. Like it takes it as a given and then explores other concepts. That's the reason Nier Automata is good. It doesn't go, hey, are robots people? It goes, hey, what if robots believed in God? Yeah. How fucked up would that shit be? <laughs> and the reason uh, Mega Man X is really interesting is not because it goes, hey, what if robots are people? It goes, robots are people, but what if society didn't agree with that? Yeah. What if robots were still treated like they like were tools. in Mega Man Classic, where they, they were tools, mechanical automata uh, uh, autom automations. <laughs> Come here, Automaton. bitch. Yeah, something like that. Uh, and, you know, had no say, they were not, they're not citizens. They are movable tools. They are property. Even Rock, as in the original Mega Man, as advanced as he is, is just a toaster. I mean, fuck <laughs> me, I just realized that was the whole point of Short Circuit. Yeah. You never watched Short Circuit? Yeah, exactly. It's, that it's, movie came out like Every 85. single fucking thing, every single fiction that involves robots, yeah. ha like, we get it. At the end of Short Circuit 2, spoilers, he gets sworn in as an American citizen. That's the whole point of both of those fucking movies. Especially the first one. And that's the yeah, most it's popcorn a children fucking Hollywood. Yeah. It's a children's story. Like, things have done... Like, we, we've asked the question, are robots human? And the answer has come back every <laughs> single fucking time. Way. So the question is not, are robots people? It says, robots are people. But humans are fucked. Yeah. Humans are fucked in the head. Um, because, uh, so, Dr. White makes sex, and he's like, I gotta make sure this kid doesn't become evil, because holy shit, he could just nuke the planet Earth. Like, Meg X could single-handedly wipe out the entire human race if he felt like it, and he would have the freedom to do so. Nothing, literally nothing would be able to stop him, so what Dr. Light had to do is would make sure that he would never want to do that. Yes. What will stop X from wanting to wipe out mankind? X himself. He will choose for himself to be good. Yeah. So I'm gonna lock him in a tube and make him go through 30 <laughs> years of ethical testing to make sure he doesn't become evil. <laughs> Which is kind of fucked up in its own way. Yes. But, here's where it gets even more fucked up, is Dr. Light dies of old age, and 30 years becomes 100 years. Mm. So, Mega Man X not only went through me uh, ethical testing to make sure he doesn't turn evil and kill everyone on planet Earth, uh, he is like a fucking paragon of virtue and a patron <laughs> saint of patience and like generosity and like values all life and really doesn't like killing people at all. <laughs> um, so what happens is a hundred years later, like apparently there was a really huge regression in society from how robots were originally treated in the original timeline of Mega Man. Like, apparently, like, one Dr. Wily fucking, like, plot to take over the world was too meant, like... That <laughs> worked too well. You know what? Fool us ten times, shame on us. Fool yeah. us eleven or more times, shame on you, <laughs> robots. Biff went back in, in the past and, you know, bet all his money on the sports thing. So, apparently, we're people, were, people were not into robots anymore. <laughs> and then a uh, homeboy named Dr. Kane excavated a site and found Mega Man X. And was like, holy shit, this robot is like the coolest fucking dude ever. This guy is made of shit that is like hundreds of years more advanced than what we have now. Let alone what they, like, X is literally 200 years, two to 300 years past his time in terms of technological advancement. Dr. Light was just that much of a psychotic an fucking genius. <laughs> I don't know where he got the resources. To create this fucking dude. Uh, so Dr. Light, so Dr. Kane was like, like, I, we don't even have the technology to turn this guy on. <laughs> but what I can do I is reverse engineer his design. So what he did is he took X 
and reverse engineered the technology and the manufacturing design that went behind his creation and made a whole bunch of new robots. And that is where Reploids come from. And Reploids stands for rep rep replicated rep rep replication replication <laughs> android you get it uh android who has been rep like it's a replication of x androids that are replicas of x replicant replicant well like uh what's the word from blade runner i think it is replicant it's definitely a reference to replicant uh to blade runner uh, i don't understand what boomer karanger is I don't understand why he's weak to the missiles. Is it because, like... <laughs> Everyone's weak to missiles. Is it because, like, he teleports and the missiles are homing missiles? Is that the logic? Stop exploding, you coward! What the fuck is a Kawang? I'm <laughs> putting that on your like, job ap application. Weaknesses, bullets, uh, being <laughs> stabbed, explosions, and uh, disease. Missiles. Missiles, definitely. I would definitely say missiles is a big, big weakness of mine. Big weakness to missiles. I'm a pussy when it comes to missiles, you know? So Dr. Kane invents <laughs> Reploids. Uh, and it's like, hey, everyone, guess what? Robots. And everyone's like, yo! Robots! Robots! Not realizing that X is not restricted by the three laws of robotics and has self-determination, <laughs> which means all of the Reploids also are not restricted by their programming. They are not restricted by the three laws of robotics. They can choose to hurt human beings if they feel like it. They are able to alter their own programming. They are able to learn... Uh, and develop their programming beyond what they were originally created with, which is the big, like, that's what artificial intelligence is. The ability yeah. to learn without it being programmed into them externally. Uh, the ability to, like, know, figure out what things are, even though no one told them that's what it is. Like, they can open up CC+, and just make whatever they want in there. <laughs> uh... Thing is, all of these other Reploids, they didn't have 30 years of ethical testing <laughs> to make sure that they didn't turn weird evil. Weird shit is. Uh, weird shit is, uh, <laughs> they just made a whole bunch of humans. They just made yes. people. Who were like, made of metal. Manu- like, huge factories just churning out and processing hundreds of thousands of dudes. <laughs> Straight up dudes. Uh, straight up dudes, and they didn't get it. They didn't know that Reploids could just do whatever the fuck they want. Yes. They are not robots in the traditional sense. They are actual, like, artificial life forms. Uh, so just off the buck, like, let's go ahead and just bring a brand new species into existence without, like, any self-awareness or, like caution or being like hmm what hmm. Could, what could the potential consequences of the, of creating a new species expecting it <laughs> to be subservient to us yep. and give it no restrictions whatsoever in what they are allowed to become hmm. couldn't see how anything could possibly go wrong no. with that no that seems fine oh it's good it's fine it's fine um so then eventually they like after they made their own you know batch of Reploids for a while. They were like, okay, now we can finally turn X on. Uh, and he was like, what up? I'm, what up, niggas? I'm, I'm fucking Mega Man X. Uh, how's it going? Um, I, I don't know if, at what point in the timeline it happened, whether it was... Because, like, I think Ian fucking Flynn uh, of fucking up everything about Sonic fame... Uh, did, like, a Mega Man comic, uh, which also sucked. Uh, and, like, it was just classic Mega Man, but, like, eventually he did, like, a storyline of Mega Man X, because you kind of have to at some point. <laughs> uh, and in his storyline, Mega Man X was, like, the first rep, like, he just woke up, and then Dr. Kane made Reploids, which doesn't make any fucking sense, and that's fucking retarded. Fucking it doesn't- that literally doesn't make any sense. Mega Man X could not have been woken up and then they made Reploids. It had to have been they found X and then reverse engineered his design and created Reploids. And then X woke up. Literally no other timeline makes fucking sense. Fuck you, Ian Flynn. Um, 
I don't know when Maverick started being a thing, whether it was before or after X woke up. Um, I guess you could argue either way, it doesn't really matter. Um, but at some point, robots started being like, this guy's an asshole, I'm just gonna kill him. And then they did it. <laughs> like, I can, I'm a robot, I can just pick up this truck and throw it at a person and kill them there you go. super hard. So that started happening, and everyone went, what the fuck, why are these robots malfunctioning? <laughs> what is causing this, like, error in their programming that's causing them to become violent? And it's like, no, they just... It's just the way it is. It's like, what's causing you to become violent? Yeah, I'm pissed off! Yeah, just, they're, they're people, and they said, fuck you, I'm mad, and they decided to kill you. <laughs> Because they could. Yeah. It's like, what the fuck do you think? Like, hey, fuck you, robot, pick up my fucking cup of soda. <laughs> Bitch, get my beer. <laughs> oh, it hit me! It's going Maverick! <laughs> so that's what Maverick started out as, is... Pe people went, okay, for some reason, these robots is going Maverick. <laughs> we gotta kill them. That's the Samuel L. Jackson line in the movie. We these robots is going Maverick. <laughs> We gotta make an organization. Let's let's have reploids. Uh, that's the thing. X is not a reploid because he's the original. The original bitch. He's the original bitch. <laughs> he's the ob, not obstetrics. But because you know, re eventually reploid just came to mean robots. People call X and Zero reploid, even though they're not reploids. But, uh, do your research. You know, like, it's just one of those things that, like, you know, it meant replicated android. What, what, are, what is that? Like a... I got, like, a rash thing on oh, my okay. wrist. Right I was gonna say, like, is that, like, a liquid bandage or... Yeah, it's, it's, a, well, it's burn it's cream, ointment. but... Yeah, it has lidocaine and aloe vera and antiseptic and stuff. Just, I don't know what the fuck this is, but I'm not... It's from the onions. No, it started, like, two days ago. Oh, okay. Anyway, so like that's Rapport. one of the one of the man just I I've never actually taken the time to appreciate the background art in this game before. Yeah, it is pretty. God damn, sprite art used to be so good. Yep. Before um, it was it turned into an excuse for shitty art. Yeah, exactly. So <clears throat> that's the thing is it's not the first example of word degradation, I guess you could say. Yes. Like, originally this word meant this, but after a while, people kept using it wrong, and it just started meaning something else. It started meaning nothing. Yeah. So originally, Reploid meant replicated android. Um, but number one, I, I feel like no one actually knows where X came from, so they don't know any better. Uh, but then also, just like, Reploid means robots. That's just what they're called. Robos. Because that's what everyone refers to them by. Um, it also happens with Maverick. The term Maverick originally means robots that are going crazy and start- are like, defective and going and becoming violent because something's wrong with their programming. Even though that's not even what was happening. <laughs> it was people going, hey, look at these self-aware, self-deterministic individuals, like, falling to the same flaws of impulsiveness that blight us in our own day-to-day -day lives, and going, that robot's broken. Yeah. It's defective. It needs to be rebooted. We gotta kill it. Because what happens when your toaster just starts blasting all over the place, shooting <laughs> toast at your eyes and burning your bread. Awesome! You get a sledgehammer and you kill that shit. <laughs> I put it in a cage and I So people, tickets. so like, let's make an organization, the Maverick Hunters, to, like, they're, sp they're like the robot police. Because if a robot goes crazy and starts killing people, what the fuck are the cops gonna do? You shoot that bitch and it's just gonna be like, yeah, I'm a robot. We need to get a lot of those magnets fuck. used to erase VHS tape. <laughs> yeah, like, it's just not gonna happen, bro. So, like, they're like, okay, we need to make- The wicked wheat to the east, bro! <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't help it. Oh, fucking- No, listen, listen! No, wait, wait, hang wait. on! Hang on! <laughs> a fucking princess! <laughs> And who was her sister? A fucking princess! The, the Wicked, Wicked Witch, Witch of the, of the East, East, bro! Walks 
out of the room and then continues yelling. <laughs> <laughs> that video is amazing. <laughs> Because it starts at the end of the exactly. argument. It starts right at the end when shit's about to boil over. And then you realize what they're talking about, and you're like, what the fuck is happening? Oh, I hate those fucking things. <laughs> yeah, these are bullshit. <laughs> um, so they start going, hey, let's make robots specifically to kill robots. That can't possibly oh, go wrong. That, let's make machines there. that their entire purpose for exist. Because, like, why the fuck? Woo! Why the fuck would you ever make, like, a kill bot? You would hopefully yeah. never do that. <laughs> no matter what. So, like, normal-ass reploids are going crazy and killing people. So they're like, well, let's make some war bots and have the war bots fuck. kill the normal reploids. Yeah. Uh, couldn't possibly see the war bots becoming crazy let's and evil either. gasoline on this fire. Oh, God. That, like, th that's, the, that's the thing. Like, the story of Mega Man X is humans are fucking stupid. <laughs> uh, and they're treating... Ooh. It happened again. <laughs> uh, so what happens when you create a new species as a slave race? Like, this is the bad- Mega Man X is the bad ending of The Measure of a Man, <laughs> where he- he reverse engineers data and yes. makes a bunch of robots, and they just become crazy and evil and start killing everyone. I mean, if it- if the very best, you get a, uh, Vietnam situation where the sentient robots convince the slave robots, you know, hey, you know, you should rebel. You yeah, like, I mean? <laughs> fucking Wily did that, a bunch, back yeah. in the day, before <laughs> robots were even people. Like, Mega Man 9 was, the plot was, Wily went, hey, you know when you hit your expiration date, the humans are just gonna fucking, like, trash you, right? Yeah. And then you're like, is that what they fucking do? <laughs> That's really fucked up. really fucked up! That's actually really bad, like, as soon as a robot is, like, done, they just trash them, and... And, like, to be fair, they weren't people back then. <laughs> but apparently they were self-aware enough to be like, I don't want to not exist anymore. Yeah, just because it reached a certain date after my metal was <laughs> metallurgied. Like, they were not self-aware or self-deterministic. They were not sapient individuals. Watch this fucking Super Nintendo shit. <laughs> yeah! yeah. Uh, but... Apparently they were still capable of going, no, I would I would very much like to continue to exist, thank you very much. <laughs> they were still they still had like survival instincts. Uh, and what's it called? Like it means the same thing, but uh, self-preservation. Self yeah. They were they were still capable of self-preservation, even though they were not technically speaking alive. Yeah. So imagine what happens when you have robots who are fucking alive. Yeah. And like by like, by every argument aside from semantics, they are just people. Uh, guess what? They're not gonna like yeah. getting treated like shit and, you know, like, having garbage dumps dedicated to their dismantulation. And they're definitely not gonna like having been invented to kill m their kind. Yeah, in the exactly. Name of so you start making war bots. This part is always so fucking hard because they will <laughs> respawn if you let them get off screen. And some of these platforms lower out of bounds of the screen. And, like, oh, they yeah. will respawn as you're gonna jump on them, and it's fucked up. Uh, so, they started making robots, reploids, who were specifically designed to kill other reploids. Can't really see how that's gonna end badly for mm, anyone no, no. involved. Okay. Um, so eventually, at this point, definitely, uh, Zero showed up, uh, and we'll get to that, because he just very swiftly becomes the main character of this series. <laughs> uh, and then X... Uh, woke up and joined the Mavic Hunters as well. Um, and the leader of the Mavic Hunters was the Sig- So, this starts the long saga of what the fuck is the helmet upgrade gonna do in this game? <laughs> <laughs> Here's an upgrade to your helmet. What's, What's it a, do? I don't fucking- What menu will subtitles be under? We cannot figure out what the fuck the helmet is gonna do. <laughs> we, we actually don't know. Let's have it be a headbutt thing where it breaks blocks. Fuck it. Yeah, look at that. Are you excited for the whole three times this is ever going to come up ever in the entire game? Actually, I think it only happens like twice. That that third time isn't even mandatory. <laughs> and this and the second time is just because to unlock something else. God damn it. 
every single game they go like, what the fuck is the helmet gonna do? Oh shit, I forgot we had to come up with this. God damn it. We gotta have, have four armor guys. upgrades, what's, what's the helmet gonna do? <laughs> I don't fucking know. God damn it. <laughs> oh, shit. God damn it. Who invented those? What, are they, what purpose do these serve? <laughs> Why? Um, so eventually Zero and X both join the Mavic Hunters and they're like, yeah, let's go kill robots. Yeah. That's not terrible. Sure. Uh, so then, eventually, Sigma... We watched that, that anime movie, which is debatably canon. Uh, I don't know how much of that uh, anime you remember. Uh, pretty much none of it. Yeah. Uh, I don't remember how much of it is canon. I think none of it? <laughs> I think none of it is canon. None of uh, it. Especially to this game. So this is the coolest fucking boss entrance in the entire series. Because you go through the little door that lets you into the boss room... But then it's like, you go up on top of the airship, and it, it's like, bam, this is the boss arena now. And it's like, Storm Eagle, why did you blow up your own ship, you fucking idiot? <laughs> you idiot. <laughs> you idiot. The one thing I like about the PSP remake of this game is, like, there's dialogue with all the bosses before you fight them, and they all have, like, cool little personalities. Uh, and Storm Eagles is the best, because he's like, sorry, dude. Sorry, I had to do it to you. Like, Storm Eagle's a cool fucking dude. He's, like, such a cool guy. Look at how cool he is. Cool dude. Look at him just get fucking eviscerated. <laughs> God damn, I'm just sleepwalking through this game. I fucking love this game so much. I played it so much.